Hey everybody, just wanted to say hello and today I'm doing a commissioned painting. It's a building on UNC Chapel Hill's campus, University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill. And it's the Music Hall building, Hill Hall. And I've got my reference photo pulled up on my laptop. I have this which is printed. It's a very long, flat kind of building, kind of um, almost Spanish style. It's, I think, like a stacked stone looking neutral kind of brick or stacked stone building with a red tile roof that looks kind of, you know, Mediterranean or whatever, but um, it has the fancy columns and all that good stuff. So I've got quite a project ahead of me today. I'm gonna let you watch, but of course I'm gonna speed it up warp speed because it will be hours and hours of painting and you don't want to sit and watch hours and hours. So I will speed it up to probably, you know, something like 30 minutes or so that you could watch if you want to, just for fun. Sometimes buildings and houses are not totally fun to paint. There's a lot of detail to it and, you know, trying to get it pretty realistic looking, but, um, so, and I'm getting ready to put my music on and jam. I don't usually get to listen to my music when I'm painting because of copyright laws, so this time I'll get to have my music on because you won't have sound. So I get to jam while I paint, which will be nice. And then um, I was going to show you to my finished painting that everybody's reacted so positively to. I've got, I'm in some Facebook groups and I've had a ton, a ton, ton, ton of loves on Facebook. And I love it myself. Everybody loves it. And this is a wedding gift for a dear friend and she loves it too because ultimately she got to pick out what style of fluid art she wanted and she picked out another style or so but then when she saw me do the first one like this that was smaller that didn't have the little buds she said I want that one and it was too small so I made her a bigger one and bigger is better always <laughs> so um, it's dry I did this maybe what two days or so ago and it is dry already I'll give it till next week to cure good and then I'll put multiple coats of high gloss varnish on it I don't wait three or four weeks like a lot of people do but also these swipes are not quite as thick as an acrylic pour is as, as well but so I will go ahead and seal it next week the wedding is next weekend. It's signed and everything ready to be sealed up. But anyway, I love the colors on this. It's just very bold and bright and cheerful. And even with the black in the background, it really pops. Um, if I had used a white to swipe, you just would not have this bold contrast of color. It would have been pretty. It had been a lot more soft and faint, and uh, I was thinking about that last night, that if I had done the white, it would have been pretty. It, it just wouldn't have been as strong of a combination. So maybe, you know, on another one I'll do a white swipe, and I'll do the colorful flowers, and maybe I'll outline them in black or something just to do it differently. But um, anyway, I appreciate all the positive feedback on this, and I, um, I'm at 19,000 subscribers. I am so freaking happy about that. You just don't know. Um, it means so much to me to have all those people out there, all of you and YouTube land following me, and I want to say a huge thank you for doing that. So I hope to bring lots more beautiful ideas and paintings to you because I do it every day. I paint every day. It's my job. You know, I've been an artist for 20 years and the fluid art has just 
stolen my heart. I just love it. And I'm just having the best time experimenting with everything. So I'm going to use probably a little bit of all kinds of brands of paint, Master's Touch, Creative Inspirations, Liquitex Basics. Um, I even have for the green, which will be probably in the grass, the highlights on the green. That's uh, Abstract Innovative Acrylic by Sennelier. I don't know. That might be a French name or something. But, um, yes, it's from France. I have never tried that before. I actually got that to do uh, an acrylic pour with, but um, it'll be a great color for the, the highlights in the grass. And... I think that's pretty much it. So the only thing I'm going to use is acrylic paints. I use water. And I'll use water to thin down my paint too. And I use paper towels to sometimes blot stuff. Everything is sketched in with a pencil. This canvas is 36 inches across and 18 inches deep. It's twice as long as it is deep. Let's put it that way. And it's about a one and a half inch or so deep gallery wrapped canvas. And I've gessoed it. I don't typically gesso my canvases, but I did gesso this to give me a little bit smoother surface to paint on with all the detail I've got to do. And I'll just put my colors on my foam plate and paint away. And I hope you enjoy watching and thanks a lot. One other thing that I wanted to mention is I always start with my paintings, I always start in the very furthest distance and move forward. So like I will start with the sky and then I'll do the building and then I'll do the bushes and the tree and then I'll do the grass and the sidewalk and the lamppost and all last because they'll be the closest to you. So you start in the distance and then you work your way forward. So I just wanted to make a note of that to you as well. So I hope you enjoy. So I just decided I am switching to deco art paints instead of the tube paints. The tube paints are, you know, they're more artist grade, but they're also thicker, creamier, and um, I paint pretty quickly. And with the creamy tube paints, if you layer it up and it's not totally dry, it will lift that paint off the canvas. So, I am switching to deco art because it, it dries immediately and I can move quicker with it after using a blow dryer and things like that. So, I'm going to switch gears here. So, I'm just pulling out all my other colors that will be deco art instead. And I may, I may add in a little bit of tube paint, but for the most part, I'm probably going to use the deco art. like here. I would like to tape that off and uh, I guess I'll, I will try it and with deco art paint it would be totally dry and it feels just, it's, it's dry but it's 
got a little tack tackiness to it. So hopefully when I put the paint down it doesn't take it up. Hopefully when I put the tank down it doesn't take it up. I used to do faux finishes for 20 years and the blue painter's tape is what I used all the time and like if I did stripes or anything and you always even with painter's tape which is made for painted surfaces like you can't use masking tape that will pull your paint off your wall this is made for paint painted surfaces but you still have to be cautious because it can still definitely lift your paint up so you have to do it very cautiously very carefully